In this challenge, you're expected to find the area of the region shaded in red. Each circle has a radius of 10 centimeters and are placed next to each other in the configuration shown. Take a moment to pause the video and see if you can come up with an answer. And if you haven't done any geometry in a while, you'll probably need to know this formula, which is used to calculate the area of a circle. To solve this puzzle, let's start by extending a line from the center of each circle to their points of contact. Since the radius is 10 centimeters, so is each line. Together, these lines produce a perfect equilateral triangle whose side lengths are 20 centimeters each. A triangle like this not only has equal side lengths, but also equal angles. In fact, each vertex, these corners, makes 60 degrees, and that will play an important role when finding the area of the middle. Now to find the area of the entire circle, we use this formula that I showed you earlier. However, I'm only interested in this region moving forward, because what I plan to do is find the area of the triangle and subtract from it the areas of these three sectors. So how do we modify this formula in such a way that it only takes into account this sector? It's actually easier than you think. Because a circle consists of 360 degrees, and we know that this angle makes 60 degrees, all you do is find the area of the whole circle and multiply it by a factor of 60 degrees out of 360, or simply one-sixth of the area. Multiplying the area by one-sixth gives approximately 52.36 centimeters squared. Remember, we need to do this for all three sectors. So to save time, we multiply 52.36 by 3, which gives approximately 157 square centimeters. As mentioned earlier, our game plan is to subtract this amount by the area of the triangle. Let's isolate the triangle for a moment to get a closer view. The most basic way to calculate the area of a triangle is by using the formula of base times height divided by 2. Although you may also use Hero's formula shown below. The length of the base is obvious, it equals 20, but the height isn't. Cutting the triangle in half forms a right triangle. And using what we know about right triangles, we can find the missing length, which will represent the height, by using the Pythagorean's theorem, which is another formula that relates all three side lengths of a right triangle, where C is the longest side and A and B are the shorter sides. Substituting the values 10 and 20 into B and C, then rearranging for A, we get the square root of 300, and that equals roughly 17.3 centimeters. All we do from here is substitute this value as our height, along with the length of the base, into the formula to get the area of the triangle. To get the shaded region, we now subtract 157 from this amount, giving us an area of 16 centimeters squared. This is the area of the red region. Now that you know how it's done, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more of these puzzles, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I hope you will share this with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching.